How do you pronounce your name? Yannick. Yannick. Oh, is that your dog? Yes, one of two. <laughs> oh, one of two. Yannick is how you say it. Yannick. That's correct. Yannick, where you call me from, love? I'm on the east side of Atlanta in a suburb called Conyers. Conyers? Is that Conyers, like, is that Georgia? A, Connors, Connors, Georgia? Yes. Are you sitting in a queen's throne? <laughs> I'm at my dining room. It has okay. best the best light, so. Yes. No, you're, <laughs> I love your setup. I appreciate it. I Thank appreciate you. it. So, Yannick, Connors, Georgia, how old are you, love? I am 54 years young. <laughs> oh, really good. Okay, Thank 54. Um, what do you do for a living? I'm in law enforcement. Oh, so you're a police officer? I am a police lieutenant. Police lieutenant. On the you federal side. Children? I Say do not. Again? On the federal side. On the federal side. Ooh, child. Come <laughs> correct, baby. Don't be on no papers and don't and don't have no warrants. <laughs> yes. Do you have any children? No, I do not. No kids. Have you ever been married? No. No. And what's your zodiac sign? I'm a Pisces. <laughs> So we got Yanni Connors, Georgia, 54 Pisces, a police lieutenant on the federal side. Never marry, no kids. What kind of man are you looking for, honey? You know, I am looking and interested in someone that I can be best friends with. Um, we can pray together. We can have fun together. Um, we both would be established in our careers at this point in our lives. And, you know, just someone who's looking for a courtship, ultimately marriage. Okay. Now, did you always want to get married or is it something you're just focusing on now? Um, I would say I've always wanted to get married, but, you know, just never kind of met the right person at the right time. I came close once. Came close. Was, um, that means you were engaged before? Um, I was, I, I was proposed to, yes. My last relationship. So what, were you guys engaged? We, we, we were not engaged, but you know, we kind of like we're working towards getting the engagement, getting towards an engagement. I was asked Part to go to look for the ring. Because you said you were close to getting married once. Well, close to being engaged. So you were close to being engaged once. Yes. Okay. What are your deal breakers? Um, my deal breakers would be uh, someone who's not interested, you know, um, in a courtship, interested in ultimately a relationship. I'm not looking to get married um, upon meeting someone, but at you know, some point in time, you know, in our courtship, that it would lead to marriage. So if you're not interested in that, that would be a deal breaker. Um, someone who's dealing with any type of legalities, you know, whether it be, you know, drugs, even to the point of marijuana. Uh, my integrity is pretty high. So, you know, I'm both loyal and honest. And so, you know, if you're not living right, I won't be a good fit for you. Um, and <laughs> and also, um, I'm, I'm like five foot nine. Um, and flat shoes. So I prefer a man at least 5'10 uh, or taller. <laughs> um, you know, as you get older, some things should come off the list. And that, that one's been a hard one to kind of kind of work with. <laughs> That's the height, because you're tall. I am. Okay. I want to ask you about this, because you mentioned courtship a couple of times. So what is your, um, what does courtship look like to you? Well, uh, courtship to me is, you know, getting to the point, I don't expect like in meeting someone, because, you know, when you first meet someone, I don't expect for you to, you know, most men to have their hand twiddling their fingers. They may already have some women that they may be interested in. But as they get to know me, um, if I am someone that they're really interested in, you know, focusing their attention on, we could, you know, um, ideally be in a, a monogamous relationship to, you know, as we get to know each other. So a courtship to me would be, you know, someone we're both serious and getting to know each other, you know, one-on-one, um, -on -one, and, you know, eventually, you know, decide to lead to a marriage. Okay. Um, did I ask you your deal breakers? Yes. Okay. Does the man have to look a certain way? Well, I would prefer for him to be, you know, tall, um, you know, groomed. Um, let's see here. Um, I prefer a black man. That's the only, you know, type of man I'm they I may be more so open again, um, you know, because sometimes, you know, more so now I've noticed that they don't have to be like, um, um, let's just say they don't have to more so be so 
so fine or so cute. I'm more so about characteristics and, you know, clean cut, the way they present themselves, the way they carry themselves, the characteristics is what I'm attracted to. Okay. Now, what about money? Do we got to make a certain amount of money? Well, um, he needs to be, you know, kind of confident. I, I do pretty decent for myself. So um, I would say probably about 50. Sorry. Okay. Now. now, should he be in Connors, Georgia as well? Conyers is a small suburb. You know, I'm like 30 minutes. I work in Atlanta, I just drive out in the suburbs um, um, where I decide to reside and live. But um, anywhere, you know, um, in the Georgia, the state of Georgia, actually. <laughs> okay. Now you don't have any children. Are you okay if he has kids? No. No. He can't have kids? They would probably need to be, they would need to be grown or, you know, pretty much, you know, older kids. So, um, as far as young kids, that would probably be a deal breaker. That would probably go on my deal breaker list. Definitely uh, someone with kids under the age of uh, probably 13 would be a deal breaker. Okay. So no children under the age of 13. All right. Do the amount of kids matter to you? You know what? I'm going to be honest. There are a lot of men out there with no kids. So if I could meet one that don't have any kids and don't want any, because, you know, at that, that time has passed for me, that would be ideal for me. It would probably be a case by case situation. Okay. You know. What is the age range you want to date? I would probably consider maybe as young as 45, 48, depending, um, up to about 62. Okay. Now Idealistically, I, I would love to have someone around the 50 ish. <laughs> Say one more time, honey. I said they, 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 preferably around 50. Around 50. Okay. All right, let's do the kids' cam. They want to see this your 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 table set. They said she got a table set, child. Can oh, we do the kids' cribs too? Oh. Always on, like you got a nice house. We can do the kids' cribs. So this is the table set. Is it always like that? Yes, this is my dining room. So it's just kind of you know the so presentation. You, you already ready for them. The play is already set up. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Let me see here. Okay, okay, table set. Oh, you look good. Yeah, work out. Well, she is a police lieutenant. Okay. You look good. Thank you. So we got Yannick, correct? Yes. Yannick, Connors, Georgia, 54, Pisces, police lieutenant, no kids, never married. When was your last relationship? Three and a half years ago. Okay. You don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? It's been quite some time. Okay. Three flaws you have to work on when it comes to a relationship. Um, well, one of the things that I've been already working on was work-life balance. I've been known to kind of work a lot very myself um, because I have my day job and then I also have a little something else that I do, you know. Um, but um, so that's something that I've been wanting to work on. Um, I can be a little stoic and it might be because of, you know, a little bit of my military background as well as the type of line of work where I can endure pain and you won't see that type of emotion, which means that I can be very dismissive because you wouldn't know if my feelings is hurt, not being able to look at me and see that. So that's something that I probably can work on a little bit, maybe having a little bit more empathy. And honestly, believe it or not, I can be a little competitive. I was told, you know, when I uh, play sports or activities with a man, I shouldn't beat them so bad. And I'm not trying to be funny. <laughs> But, you know, sometimes their feelings, their egos get crushed a little bit. So what, you know, what sports do you play with the men that you whip their ass in? <laughs> For one, let's say uh, bowling. I come with my equipment, my balls and everything. And, you know, one guy told me he felt set up. <laughs> I said, well, I told you, you know, that's something I did years ago. You know, I hadn't did it in a long time, but I guess you don't lose it if you have it. So okay. that was one, one thing. Um, what else? Um, just a, a lot of different things, especially, you know, being in a male dominating field and stuff. Um, you know, I've, I, I can be a little competitive, but I try to soften that up a little bit at least. <laughs> okay. We got a compliment. L double I sent me ten, um, $10 to say, let me get it together. L double I <laughs> sent me $10 to say this to you. She's looking better than over 75% of the guests that come on the show. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. I appreciate that. Okay. So, that. You know, I want to say, I would like to say one thing, you know, I've been watching your show and a lot of times, you know, when I look at it, most of the times, you know, I just want to kind of shout out for us women that are over, 
you know, I'm 54. There's a lot of us that, that are still taking care of ourselves and look extremely well. Most people think I might be 42, you know? So, um, you know, thank you for that. I appreciate that. A lot of us are out here taking care of ourselves. Yes, you definitely look great. Um, so I'm trying to make, oh, why would a guy be lucky to be with you? A man would be lucky to be with me as I would be with him, number one, because, um, you know, I definitely have those wife qualities, but I am definitely a an asset to a man um, as well as um, and definitely not a liability. Um, I have a lot of love and affection to to give to a man and I can be his peace. <laughs> she could be his peace. She could be his peace. All right. And do you, you said you do want to get married, correct? Yes. Yes, absolutely. Well, what qualities you feel as though make you a wife? You know, um, I don't know, Kendra, if you've ever heard about the five F's, but there's uh, the qualities that a man is looking for for a wife. There's, it comes five F's. And one is uh, the first one is a uh, fulfillment. Um, and that's, you know, I know I have that to offer to a man. That's the uh, mental, the um, social, as well as the, the physical, too, as well. Um, hopefully that man's ability will st he still will have the ability to be tuminous. And I don't want to say the word EV, so I'll, I'll leave it professional and say two minutes. Uh, the second one that I have is, you know, ability to feed a man. I love to cook and grill. Um, the third is faith. If he has a vision, I'm going to support that. And, you know, I'm going to believe in that vision and together grow. Uh, the third one is forgiveness. I mean, the, 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 the fourth one is forgiveness. Um, um, he, as, as like I said, I want him to feel like he can come talk to me. We're best friends and know that you can, even though the, the information that you may be sharing with me is something that I may not like or want to hear. I'm not going to punish you for it. So I, you have to be able to forgive in a relationship. That's very important. The fifth one, I, I'm very family oriented. I'm close with my family and I like family and friends and entertaining. So okay, those right, are the qualities that a woman can bring to the, to, you know, as a wife, those are the things that I bring. I, I cut you <laughs> off. Say the last part again. No, I said, those are the qualities, the five of that, that makes me a good wife, a candidate for a wife for, for a man. <laughs> Don't play with it. She got the five S. That's my first time hearing that. So, okay. Uh, Let's do it. Yannick in Conyers, Georgia, 54. Um, um, a Pisces, a police lieutenant. No kids, never married, but would like to become a wife. And you can have children, but nothing under the age of 13. 45 to 62 is her age range preference and make at least 50k and also be taller than five nine right <laughs> right absolutely okay. that'd be great all right, well, how can the guy reach out to you honey um my um all my contacts social media is in my um uh, the name yannick jackson um and you spell that y-a-u-n-e-e-k and jackson common spelling and there you have it <laughs> all right well will you keep me posted how it goes babe I will. Kendra, thank you so much. This has been a joy. Thank you so much. And you look beautiful tonight. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you, baby. All right, well, keep me posted, honey. I will. Thank you. <laughs> oh, she was sweet. She looked good.